What is up everybody? Welcome back to Stars of the Diamond. My name is Rhett and today we're going to be doing another vintage card set feature and this one's going to be a little bit different. Um, one of the big manufacturers when I was younger of baseball cards was Fleer. Okay, there was Topps obviously, Donruss and Fleer and then other people kind of came into the game later. But uh, if you were to ask most collectors what was the first baseball card set ever made by Fleer? The answer by most people that know a little bit about cards would be this set right here, the 1959 uh, Ted Williams set. Now Ted Williams signed an exclusive deal with Fleer to um, produce a set of cards. But in fact, you'd be wrong. Okay, you'd be wrong by about 30 something years because 30 something years before this set was made in 1959, Fleer had made another set. Now that other set is very, very uh, not well known and it's kind of an ugly set. Okay, so we're gonna go over that particular set today. So this was more of a misdirection than anything else. So I'm gonna show you one of the Fleer cards from 1923. So here's the back of the card and it says, every five cent package of Fleer's Bob's and Fruit Hearts contain a picture of a famous person. Get the complete set of 120. Um, Frank H. Fleer Corporation. Now Frank H. Fleer is, is well known for having invented bubble gum. And uh, there was chewing gum, obviously, for many, many years, but he invented bubble gum. Now, um, when we're looking at the back of that card, it looks like something special, but if you look at the front of this card, it's pretty ugly. And in fact, it looks just like a strip card. Now, those that don't know strip cards, I'm gonna kind of go over what those are. Now, most strip cards were not produced with a product like you see here in this case, gum. And um, they were issued in strips of multiple cards. So I have another set that are still in strips here. They're issued in strips like this and you just purchase them as a strip and then you took them home and you cut them apart to make cards. So they were sometimes issued in strips like that. Um, other times they were issued in large sheets. So here's a comic or, uh, you know, Mother Goose type stuff. And uh, so these cards were issued as a, as, a, as a full sheet like this, and you took it home and you cut them out yourself. Okay, so those are strip cards. And in the American card catalog, they're designated as W cards. So whereas 20th century tobacco is T cards, 19th century tobacco or N cards. Um, candy cards or E cards, uh, uh, recent gum cards or R cards. That's kind of how that works. So strip cards are generally thrown into the W category. Now W means it nothing. It basically means a catch-all for everything that doesn't fit into another category. So you've got large mail-away premiums. You've got early praying, uh, the earliest trade cards that they ever made from the 1850s and 1860s all the way up to strip cards. And uh, so these strip cards that you can kind of see here are well known um, in the hobby. And so you can kind of see, um, I have a whole sheet of the baseball players, okay? And in fact, this one right here, Whitey Witt, is identical to the card that we have here. Now, obviously, the, the vast majority of these cards have the blank backs like we see here. Now these cards are actually in the American card catalog as W515. And uh, they're just a strip card known from 1923. And uh, there's a Babe Ruth set card in this set. And there are 60 numbered cards. So you can see each card has a number on it. Whitey Witt's 37. Um, here's a Frank Home Run Baker, he's number 15. Wally Shang, Wait Hoyt. Uh, the Musel Brothers, that's Bob and Emil. Um, Carl Mays, Eddie Collins, Joe Dugan, and Everett Scott. So 
if we look at the back of these FLIR cards, they actually specify that there's 120 in the set, okay? And so what that means is, is that this is actually a mixed subject set. So there's the 60 baseball players. And uh, the, the ones with the FLIR back are extremely, extremely rare. Not all 60 players have been found with that back. But as rare as the baseball players are, even rarer are the other subjects. So there's 60 baseball, and there's also 60 other subjects. And uh, I actually have one of those other subjects, and I've been looking for these for quite a while, and this is the first one that I've seen available. And so what I have here is Ulysses S. Grant, and uh, obviously uh, president from uh, 1869 to eight, uh, 1877. And as you can see, same back. Every five cent package of Fleer Bobs and Fruits, 120. So here we go. So here is another card from that same set. And in reality, um, through research that I've been able to do, I have been able to confirm that the, the 60 other subjects are boxing, presidents, Western people like uh, Wild Bill Hickok, and actors. And um, I have sort of some baseball. So these are all strip cards here, but here are the baseball players and uh, the actors would look just like these cards here. And then the, uh, the presidents would look similar to that. And then the Western stars have, you know, Western scenes, people like Wild Bill Hickok and everything like that. Um, I, I believe at one point we had kind of uh, narrowed it down to how many of each subject there are, but there's still some debate as to what constitutes complete sets there. But what is also kind of exciting is the fact that the, the cards themselves, these E um, W5715 strip cards, are actually in the American card catalog. And a lot of people don't realize that these FLIR cards were known by Jefferson Burdick when he was writing the American card catalog. Now, the catalog number for them is a little bit of a funny one. It's in a kind of a catch-all section, and it is called E241. E just means candy. Okay, and in this case, early candy, which is why it's E. Now, later cards like gum cards from the 30s and everything are considered R cards because according to Jefferson Burdick, they were considered recent candy cards and that's why they got the R designation. So these are early gum or candy cards. And uh, so they are in the American card catalog as E241. There's 120 cards in the set, 60 baseball, and 60 miscellaneous subjects. So from now, if anyone asks you what's the first set of FLIR cards ever made, you can tell them it is not the 1959 Ted Williams cards, but it is actually these. 1923 E241 FLIR cards. And uh, if you find these at anywhere near, you know, the prices of regular strip cards, buy them. Now, this one obviously is graded by PSA. It's graded a three, uh, mainly due to the centering a little bit because of the, uh, the, the wear to the corners. But what you can see is that you can see the little line where, you, where, you know, the original strip cards would have been cut. But every example of these FLIR cards that I've seen look to have been machine cut. Now, they were really bad about cutting them on the lines, but they do look to have pretty straight factory-made cuts on them. They just didn't stick right with the, uh, um, you know, with the lines very well. Now, this grant, I think what ended up happening is, is they probably had the strips just like anybody else that had bought the strips would have them. And I think what ended up happening is, is that this grant was on the end of the strip and uh, just kind of got cut off because they had uh, over, 
overcut the card next to it. So they ended up with a card a little bit thinner. But anyways, um, a set that I've kind of been going after for a while and my entire accumulation is literally these three cards. So very, very rare um, and interesting. So anyways, hope you guys learned something today. And uh, thanks for tuning in to Stars of the Diamond. If you have any comments or if you'd like to get a hold of me, comment in the it, down below, okay? I, I will respond to comments in my videos. Um, if you like my videos, think about subscribing, okay? I'm gonna try to be a little bit better about getting more videos up and running. And uh, if you like the videos, smash that like button, get that notification bell uh, rung so that when you get a heads up when I upload new videos. And uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, happy collecting.